Well, hello again. And as we continue in our video conversations, I'm here once again. This is Holy Week. And I'm excited about uh, some of the stories and um, the readings that I'm going to do for you uh, for Thursday and for Friday. And I'm really looking forward to uh, the message that I'm preparing for Easter. But in the meantime, I'm just glad to be able to come to you again and, and talk with a little bit of encouragement telling you that uh, while we are still at home, while we're still hunkered down, it seems like we're kind of hitting the crest of this thing, so we may be pretty soon being able to look to a set date in the future when all this will start to go behind us. But until then, it's beautiful outside, spring is from. Hopefully you're getting some things done around the house. Hopefully you're getting some spend some quality time with family and calling folks and just reaching out to those you haven't spoken to in a long time. It's amazing what a little bit of rest and a little bit of downtime will give you time to do with the things that we always say, I'll do that someday. Well, today is a good day for it to be someday since we have so much time on our hands. I hope that all is going well for you and for your families. And again, I encourage you to uh, reach out in whatever means you can. Pray for those that need prayer. Pray for each other. And continue to share um, warm feelings and the love that Christ has given to us. And to that end, I would like to offer you a word of encouragement today from the letter to the Philippians. I'll be reading from the fourth chapter, verses 4 through 9, where... Paul writes, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. And God of peace will be with you. And may the peace of God be with you and keep you in these trying times. And may that also drive you to offer that peace to others. Well, I look forward to being with you once again in person. But I hope these videos and these services are meaningful for you and for your family. Again, let us go to God and offer him our prayers. Let us pray. Father God, I give you thanks and praise for this time of rest, this time of pause. Even though there is uncertainty, even though there is worry, and yes, Lord, there is grief and sadness. But in all these things, you are present. In all these things, we put our trust and our hope in you. And therefore, we are not con concealed by the darkness. We are not pushed down by the grief. But we are uplifted by your peace and by your presence. And let us share that with our loved ones, with our neighbors. All to the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. For it is in his name we make these prayers and petitions. Lord, I pray for the health care workers. I pray for our nation's leaders, for those who are working to get us through this. I pray for those who are affected by it. I pray for those who are mourning, those who are feeling lost, those who are feeling put down. May we reach them with your love and with your grace and with your mercy. We pray this in all things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Well, again, thank you. And